Right. Having a bit of trouble with my MX-5 engine. Took it all apart and just pick up in all of the pistons, really bad scrapes and everything like that. And the pistons, I thought all the pistons were junk. You can see off this one. Piston 2. Quite bad scrapes across the front of the piston. Um, well, which is the side. Um, I can feel a slight bit of a, a groove in them as well about it. So I thought they are quite nasty. Um, it's taught a bit of a trick by the engine build really. Um, you promised me that this would work. I have my dates. You set pistons 400 pain for forged pistons, uh, which is something I want to do. But if I can help somebody uh, by this video, then I will. Uh, so I've got the piston then. As you can very clearly see all the gauges across the front, some of them you get your fingernail into. You can take a bit of, uh, bit of scrubbing. So WD-40 in the front. These Scotch white pads, uh, they come from Home Bargains. 38 pence for a pack of five, I think it was. Don't worry about the, uh, the rings on mine, I'm scrapping my rings anyway. Um, I've already gone this far, so I might as well go the whole hog, really. Um, I thought that the crankshaft was gone, because it had a plane, I was worried about the end float. Uh, turns out it's just cheap measuring equipment on my side. Um, there was end float in it, it was towards the higher end. Um, we put in brand new thrust bearings, and it's gone in, sort of out of treat. Um, I'm using WD-40 for this, just as a bit of a lubricant for a scotch brake pad. It takes a couple of minutes on each one to get it all up. There's going to be new tricks in there, like uh, Dremel and things like that. You can go from possibly do it with, but you don't want anything too abrasive. Um, like, um, you don't want anything with a grit in it, like a metal polish or anything like that. It's just basically a bit of lubricant, a bit of oil or something like that. And then just scrub the hell out of it with a scotch brake pad. It's cheap. And my new pistons. If you want to go for standard ones, your boards are okay. Uh, my boards are fine in mine. Um, they were marked. No gauges, they just needed a hone. So I'm sticking with the standard size pistons. Uh, honing kits are 18 pounds off the internet off eBay. You just chuck them in your drill, run through them. And then the standard uh, piston runs straight back in. Uh, piston rings are 45 pounds. Don't buy them from uh, certain MX-5 stores. Um, genuine ones are they're really expensive. Just go for the pattern ones. Um, I got some from Jap Speed. They're really cheap. So I was get a bit of tissue. A soft bit of tissue. Give them a rub down. This is the worst piston out of all of them, by the way. This is piston number two. All of them are marked. Piston two particularly really bad. Um, which would be down on the intake side. All of them seem to be marked on the intake side. As you can see, on the outlet side, pretty fine. They're not too bad at all. They're marked, obviously they're wear. It's had 97,000 miles on the clock. The engine builder did say that the servicing must have been absolutely terrible on this. Um, he's put the marks down on the pistons to be a pickup, where obviously the pistons just picked up a bit of shite. Um, so then he said just go and go off and get some scotch bright, which is this stuff like I said, 38 pence per five from home bargains. You know, don't buy it off eBay, eBay is like five quid for a load of them. I spent um, 70, well 80 pence on two packs. I'm going to do it, I'm just doing the scripts to show you this for now, I will do the whole pistons. Uh, maybe with a bit of diesel or something like that, diesel's pretty cheap. Couple of liters of diesel, stick it in a tub and go away and do the lot. Like I said, the rings are going to be replaced. If you go this way and you take the old engine apart, do the rings, do the big M bearings, do all of it. Add a bit of wear in the in the Conrod bearings. Um, like I said, the thrust washer with uh, two of them that sits in main journal four had wear on it, which was giving me my play my end float. So if you grab the front crank pulley push it backwards and forwards and you, you feel the the play up do like a slight clunk and I thought that this was meaning that my crank was completely knackered but it turns out it's just these thrust washers once I repair it's fine 
There we go. This is the this was the worst one. As you can see now. Can't get my fingernail. It's clean up flip, but I can't get my fingernail. I didn't see any one of them at all now. Still marked. But the gauges are gone now. You know the little thin bits of gauge I'm sure in there a couple of minutes. I'm doing it like this and it'll and it'll come up perfectly. It's a cheap easy way. If you're building your car on a budget, just go off and get it done. It's not much money at all. As long as they're smooth, get standard pistons, measure your bores, make sure you are running a standard bore. If you're using cheap measuring equipment like me, because I ain't got much money, don't pay too much attention to it. The cylinder heads off with race developments in Gloucester. It's going off for skim, um, checking out the guides, porting, and all that kind of thing. Um, just going round on this ring in circular motions. Bit of pressure on it, just keep going on it. I would. Um, I'm re replacing the uh, piston rings, like I said, on this. Keep the old ones, just in case you're unlucky, like I am. I'm really unlucky. Um, and at least if I break one ring, I've got loads of spares left then. And there we go. It's coming already. It's coming quite nice. Tiny little marks. This isn't. They're not even marking the pistons there. Um, like I said, I want to go full forged pistons. Billet con rods and things like that because I want to go off and I want to try and turbo at some point but this is more to show you what you can do if you haven't got much money A little bit more up there now, and it's just tiny little marks. There's no scratches at all on this. It's perfect. Um, all this tar and stuff on top, this will come off, it's a bit rough. There you go, nice neat little trick. Um, obviously, a little bit more work on it, and it'll come up completely. There's no gauges in this at all now. This is just tiny little scratch mark, uh, tiny little um, lines on it now rather than as opposed to before when I could actually put my finger in the end of it and click it and, and, and like uh, get my finger to dig in on it so there you go WD-40 loads of these little cloths they're 38 pence and home bargains absolute bargain I am my date so I didn't think this was going to work at all but it does it's cheap all right bit of elbow grease but it's going to save you a load of money in parts Hope this helps.